I will review four toners and one essence from Cosarex. I will let you know which one is worth your money and which one not and which one is best suitable for your skin type and which one you should avoid. Without further ado, let's get started. I have dry skin and I have quite irritated skin right now. I will put a clip here of what my skin looks right now. My skin is burning and I have a lot of breakouts going on and I used all the five products on top of such a skin and my skin was feeling so happy. So that's the beauty of Cosarex and why I like this brand. They work with natural ingredients so that even such a skin feels happy with these products. I applied the product in the evening with a cotton pad. So I want to start with the AHA BHA clarifying treatment toner. It comes in a spray bottle so I guess you can directly spray this onto your skin but I have used a cotton pad. It has botanical exfoliants inside and as I said it hasn't irritated my problematic skin therefore we can say that this is a gentle exfoliant and it's great for sensitive skin. Furthermore it gave my skin a very fresh look so a healthy glow and my skin was silky soft thereafter. The only downside I see is that this one is not hydrating at all. So therefore when you have sensitive skin you have some acne breakouts going on or your skin is just purging like mine right now. This would be a great toner if you are looking for a gentle exfoliant. It is a great toner for an oily skin or combination skin or normal skin but when you have dry to very dry skin it doesn't give enough hydration. There are better toners coming. So next let's talk about the Hydream Watery Toner. It comes in a beautiful bottle like this. It has no scent to it and as the name says it is a quite watery toner. It's on the runnier side. It sinks into your skin immediately and leaves a matte finish. It has vitamin B5 which is known as panthenol inside and it has tons of hyaluronic acid inside. The Cosarex website says that this is full of hydration for a dewy skin and I know this line. I have tried different creams from this line and I must say I found this toner quite disappointing because I found it not hydrating at all. This one is more hydrating than the AHA BHA clarifying treatment toner but it's still not as hydrating as the ones coming up in this video. What is special about this toner is that it has a cooling effect. It calmed down my irritated skin. That is one characteristic of this toner. Therefore when you have dry, very dry skin or you have normal skin during winter times and you are looking for a hydrating toner, this one is not for you. It's not hydrating. It's quite watery. But someone with oily skin or combination skin might like this toner for its cooling and calming effect. So if you have some skin irritation going on. It will help with calming down your skin but one toner that is coming up as next it will just perform better than this one. Next I want to talk about the Sika toner like the other products from this line. This one has a slight scent to it. When you apply this toner to your skin it leaves a silky finish. It reminded me of the YSL serum I reviewed here on my channel. I will link that review down below in the comments box. When I applied this toner to my skin it calmed my irritated skin very well. So when you are looking for a toner that calms your skin when you have some irritation going on like acne breakout you can go with this one. What I found quite disappointing with this toner is usually Centella Asiatica is hydrating as well and the other products from the Centella Asiatica line of Corsarex are so hydrating they are all hits but this one is not hydrating at all. All. So when you have very dry skin or dry skin like me or you have normal skin and you are looking for a winter time toner this one might not be for you. But when you have oily skin or combination skin and you have irritation going on purging you might like this toner. So the next two toners slash essences I can recommend to everyone. They were definitely the hits of this review. One of the hits of this review is the Propolis Synergy Toner. This toner hit me by surprise. So I have tried the Propolis Light Ampoule from the Discosarex line. 
and the cream from this line and I must say the toner is just the best. The other two products were not as hydrating especially the light and pool so if you want to get one toner from this line or one product from this line get this toner. Compared to the three toners so far this one has the thickest consistency. It has no scent to it. When you apply this to your skin it takes some time to sink into your skin but it leaves a matte finish. It has 73% of propolis extract and 10% honey extract inside. So the consistency also reminds me a little bit of honey. It leaves like a coated feeling to your skin. Between all of of the toners I have shown you so far this is the most hydrating it's quite nourishing so therefore when you have dry skin or very dry skin or you have normal skin and you are in winter times so you are looking for a hydrating toner a good toner for sensitive skin then go with this one I can definitely recommend purchasing this toner it's great so the next hit of this review video is not a toner it's an essence it's this beauty here it's the advanced nail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This one has no scent to it and among all the four or five products I have shown you in this video this has the thickest consistency. It has a gel-like consistency and I tell you guys it's heavenly. It has no scent to it. And once you apply it, you won't imagine, but it sinks into your skin immediately despite being that gel-like and thick, which is beautiful. And this essence leaves a beautiful silky soft finish. So your skin feels silky soft thereafter. I can tell you guys this is very rich. This is even richer than the Snail Mucin Moisturizer I have also reviewed on my channel. I will link the video down below in the comments box as well. And from the Snail Mucin line honestly I love the essence the most so far. So in this video there were quite surprising discoveries for me and it's so concentrated as the name says it's an essence. Therefore I think it's worth every penny. So guys when you have very dry skin or you have dry skin or you have normal skin and you are looking for a winter time essence kind of thing that nourishes your skin this is heaven in a bottle. People who have oily skin actually might not like this essence it will be eventually too nourishing for you but I can tell you this essence is a 10 out of 10 product. I feel like when you have dry skin or very dry skin you need to buy this product and you are good to go. It's like a moisturizer and you don't need anything nor a room below neither a moisturizer on top. As next videos I recommend you to watch two videos where I have reviewed the moisturizers that should accompany these toners. So you can see what I mean with I have tested the moisturizers and was quite surprised because the toners performed differently. 